Hey y'all, it's Joanna, and I love to DIY on a budget and make beautiful home decor. And if you like to sew, then catch me on Saturdays. Now, let's get crafty! Okay, it's just our imagination, collaboration, with our hosts... Kathy Joe DIYs and Rustic and Lace DIY and co-host is The Busy Housewife and Craft Away with May. Their channels will be in my description box along with the entire playlist. This is going to be a good one because we have to use foam board, straws, air freshener can, and Q-tips. Now, let's see what we do with this, shall we? Okay, so I took a piece of foam board. I'm going to try to do all most of this in one project. So I cut my foam board at a rectangle and then I curved the end of it. And now I am going to cut some pieces that are just shy of the width of my uh, little round here. So I'm going to, I need two or three. I don't remember how many I put in it. So I'm going to take my craft stick and I'm going to measure. This is the, the, medium well it's a big you know tongue depressor gag stick whatever you want to call it. i call them gag stick because but anyway um that's what i'm using it's not the giant giant but it's a big one okay um so i'm gonna cut that down and i'm gonna cut three pieces like this then after i get those cut i'm gonna take these pieces and i'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue and i'm gonna put these on here and i'm trying to center up center them up the best i can Maybe I just use two. I don't remember. I might just use two. I don't even know what I did, and I did this today. Yep, I just used two. I should have put three. I really should have put three. I might go back and reinforce it with another one. But I put the tongue depressor gag stick thing there, and then I take the other gag stick and put it on the other side, and I try to get them as even as I can. Once I get my gag sticks on there, that's going to be my, uh, what do you call them things? We're making a sled and that's the runners. Yeah, that's the runners. So now I am going to shave my foam board. Yeah. I'm sorry about that light. That's from my window and y'all wouldn't believe it. It's, it's like a gap in my curtain and my X tool's in the way and I cannot reach the thing. So yeah, I'm so sorry. So I'm going to take some of this wax. Uh, it's not wax. You can use wax. I'm, I wouldn't use wax. I didn't. It's it's makeshift um, stain. It's burnt umber, a little bit of black and water. And I like the color. So yeah. So I was trying this with a rag and it wasn't working. So I got my uh, brush and I start brushing it on. And that worked a lot better. Especially in those in that foam core stuff. So I'm just going to do all of it but the top. See? Like that right there. Kind of looks like wood when I get done. That's pretty cool. So now I'm going to measure. I'm, well, I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to put my ruler there. And I'm going to poke holes in here. Because, you know, your sled has to have a string. You got to pull it by something. So I'm going to take... And my paper, this, I got some cheap foam core board. This come from Dollar Tree and I've had it for a while and it always comes apart. I hate it. But anyway, may I all do that? I don't know. I've never bought the expensive stuff. I don't reckon. So I really don't know. So I'm just taking a screwdriver and I'm making my holes bigger because I'm going to put twine through there. So I have to have it bigger. So I'm putting a little bit of glue. I didn't put that much. It just looked like it because it was going real fast. So I'm going to go up and then back through and that's going to be my string and I know I'm going pretty fast but that's because yeah I'm, I gotta edit this and it's not really gonna take that long anyway so this is one of those rags from the Dollar Tree in the automotive and I'm gonna glue that to my um, foam core and I'm using weld bond so I'm gonna take weld bond and I'm gonna smooth that weld bond out but not around the edges okay I'm just using a palette knife so around the edges, I'm getting most of it here. I want it stuck down really, really good because I don't want it to pop up and move or anything. So I'm going to stick it down. I'm going to push it real good. You better be careful because you'll, you'll, you might not ever make this. It's foam core. But anyway, it's the only thing I can think of. Well, actually, you know what happened? I was praying about this. I pray about a lot of stuff. But I was praying about this and I said, Lord, what am I going to do? Because I have no idea. This is crazy stuff. They they thought I was bad when I said toilet paper. I mean, get real. An air freshener can. Anywho. 
I woke up one morning and this just came to me. I mean, it just came to me. And I thought, thank you, God, because I could do most of this in one little project and it's going to be great. I know it will. So, yeah, here we are today doing this cute little project that the Lord put in my brain. So, that's how he works sometimes. Somebody asked me, how do I get my ideas? Sometimes they just happen like that. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to trim this off. And if there's any edges that ain't glued down, I'm going to flip it up and glue that down. But I don't remember if I flip it up and glue it down. It was bare there. I just said, forget it. I ain't going to put nothing else on there. Just forget it. So, I'm just trimming it up. And I'm really trimming it up. Trim it up. Don't trim record. But anyway... So now I'm going to get this mess off of here, and then I'm going to start, um, oh, cleaning the glue off my knife, putting that away. Could you imagine I'm putting something away? Go me. Anyhow, let me just skip this mess. Look at that cute little snowman. I got the Dollar General for a dollar. Yeah, I thought he was cute. So I'm going to take my pliers. He has a staple in there. Now how to pull that staple out. But you're not going to see that. So he has some flaws. I don't know why. He rubbed up against something. You know, he's white slick paint. So I'm just going to take my acrylic paint. And I'm going to daub it on there. And then I'm going to dry it. And I'm going to cover up those little flaws that he has. Because I didn't like it. So when I get that done, I I, I, I thought, yeah, I'll do that later. Um. Now I'm going to work with my straws, okay? So I used the foam core. Now I'm using my straws. This is a second, another thing, in the and my Q-tip. So I'm going to take my straw and I'm going to cut it down. But before I do that, I take a dowel rod that almost fits in my straw because it needs some stability for what I'm going to do. So I put some hot glue in my hole and I shove my dowel all the way flush with that so that I could put it in here later. And y'all, it didn't work out like I thought, so I had to do something else. But it was cute as could be. So it, it was a win-win. Just a win-win, y'all. So I'm going to take my um, pokey tool here. And I'm going to poke holes in here. Because I have to use another Q-tip. So I'm going to take this Q-tip. And I'm going to cut my ends off. And I ended up using another Q-tip. Because this one came up too short. And I just pulled the, um, I pulled the cotton off of it. And put another Q-tip in there just like this. I kind of smushed my straw. It made me sad. But it's okay. It, it didn't matter anyway. So anyways, I'm just inserting the Q-tip like that right there. Okay, so I've got these things that I pulled off of another DIY. And I've got these berry ball things that are very, very stiff. So I'm going to cut that and I'm going to shove it through the Q-tip hole. Um... It wouldn't go in because where I cut it, it had a snag. So I sanded it down and then it fits right in my Q-tip hole. So I'm going to take glue and I used, um, it's like Fabri-Tac. I think it's Beacon 3-in-1. And I put it on there and it, it was not working. I don't know. But anyway, I didn't use it. I used hot glue. Hot glue worked. So I hot glue it. I lost my top. I'm just, I'm frazzled. I am telling y'all I'm frazzled. So I hot glued it. Put that booger on in there, okay? Then we're going to move on. Then I glued it to the thing there. The thing the thing was the straw. So now I take another piece of straw and I put it over the Q-tip. And then I put my other bead in there. And I used that um, tight bond quick and thick. But I ended up using hot glue because it wasn't setting fast enough for me and it made me mad. I don't got time to be mad today. I'm just busy. So I put that on there and then, um, yeah, so I used hot glue. So just use hot glue. If you do it, why would you do this? I have no idea. It is cute though. It is cute. So now I got that and I'm going to take a blob of hot glue and put it in there and I'm going to hold it and it, it was falling over. It was falling over. I didn't like it. Look, see it? That's what it was doing. That's like my sound effects. So I'm going to take these balls that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to, it's bowl filler. And I'm going to start gluing them on there. This was the unexpected, but it came, it came out cute. Okay. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to start gluing these balls all around this pole. I mean, every which way from top to to bottom and I'm just building up a pile of snowballs okay I have no rhyme or reason to why or how I am putting these on there I'm just loading balls on it okay I'm just gluing balls down to hold my pole so you got to have the balls to hold the pole because I didn't know what else to hold the pole with and I had these over there so yeah that's what we're doing we're holding the pole with our balls 
and bowl filler. There's snowballs now. I don't know what they were bowl filler before, but there's snowballs now. We got snowballs on our light pole. Well, yeah. So when you get about 120 on there built up around your light pole there, it, it hangs on. So I'm taking this one Q-tip, and it was the fluffiest Q-tip I had. And I am using a marker because I don't want it to be, you know, real stiffy, stiffy. So I'm taking my yellow marker, and I painted it because this little Q-tip is going to be my light bulb that goes in the top of my light pole. Okay? Yeah. This is this is what the Lord gave me. I'm telling you. So, yeah. So, I'm going to put my light bulb. Oh, I had to use a little Mod Podge. Yep. I had to make it fluffier and stiffer a little bit. But, yeah. So, I'm going to glue that Q-tip down in that hole right there. And that's going to be my light bulb. It comes out cute. I'm telling y'all. Okay. So, now I got these two tags. And this was just a hot mess. So, I'm going to fast forward all this. I tried to write it. Y'all don't got to watch me in my despair. Okay. So, yeah. So, I've got that right there. That's, that's going to be the sign, you know, hanging down. So, I've got these two pieces of silver um, string. I don't even know where it come from. And I tied a knot in one end. And then I glued it to my little piece here. Now, I'm just going to tell you I'm going to paint it black. You're not going to see me having to try to write this. I'm just going to paint it black and use vinyl and be done. Okay, there's my little sign. I lost my snow guy. And it says South Pole. I could have put snowballs for sale, but, you know, there's snowballs at the South Pole, so that's okay. So now I'm just going to put dots of glue on my um, knots, and I'm going to glue my knots right to my sign. This is the only thing I could think of to hang it up, because, I, I mean, a chain would have been way too heavy. It would have pulled my Q-tips down <laughs> and everything else, so... Yeah, so it's on there and it's cute. So I've got these trees from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna glue them behind here. Um, I'm gonna put a snowman in the front right there, my Dollar General snowman. So I'm gonna take my snowman and I'm gonna glue him down first because it was making me nervous where to put it. So I plop him down on there, and now I can glue my trees without hitting my snowman in the head. So I glued the big one and then a little one over by the pole and I had a space and I was like, ugh. So I eventually glue, I was trying to figure out where you put it. I put it right there. I glued it back there. It's on the sled. It's it's hanging off just a smidgen. Y'all know me and my smidgens. It's hanging off a smidgen. A smidgen is just a little. It's just a little smidgen. So I'm going to push that down and um, this video is going to be late. I'm so sorry. I did too, and it's going to be late. But anyway, now I'm going to embellish my little snowman because he's pretty plain Jane. So I've got this pack of, uh, what is that stuff called, holly leaves and berries, and I'm just going to snip them off here, and then I'm going to get a tiny piece of felt, and I'm going to get a tiny piece of felt, and I'm going to glue on the felt because, you know, that helps stuff adhere. It'll It'll hold it better. So now I'm just going to take my big old leaves and I'm going to glue them to that felt and that's going to make, um, that's going to make his hat decorated. Now I've got this baker's twine I've seen sitting over there. So I'm going to take a piece of it and I'm going to glue it around and give him a little brim on his hat because it, it was just a black solid hat and he didn't have nothing. So I want him to have a little brim. So I just put a little brim on there and you can't see what I'm doing, but I promise I'm telling you, I put a brim on it. Thou shalt not lie, and I'm not. There is a brim on that hat with baker's twine. Now I'm gluing my holly leaves on there. Yes, I am. And then when I get them on there, I'm going to cut the wire off the berries, and I'm going to glue my berries down at the bottom of that holly thing. And you can't see it, so I'm just going to skip it. But you know they're there, okay? Okay, so I wanted Little Man to have a scarf that matched. So I'm using, like, the last of my baker's twine here, and I'm tying a knot, and I have six strands, okay? So I'm going to take the six strands, and we're going to go two, four, six. And that's going to give me three strands, and I'm going to stick that in my mouth, and I'm going to braid it. And you're not going to see that because that's nasty. And now I'm going to cut it off, and I'm going to take this thing, and I'm going to tie it around 
my snowman and it was too long so i had to untie it and put it back on and y'all i had to cut it y'all don't have to see that but just i just that's what i did and i'll show you that at the end so this is my air freshener okay it is it's a disaffected i don't use air freshener i have wax melts and stuff this is the only thing i have that's air freshener so this is the only thing I could think of besides a snowman. And I do so many snowmen. I didn't want to do another snowman. So I took this. Um, uh, this is supposed to be ribbon. But it looks like birch wood. And I'm going to take this. And I'm going to adhere this up my can. But you have to do it in sections. Okay. So I'm just going to take a section. And I'm going to use my weld bond. And I'm going to take the weld bond and I'm going to smear some weld bond on that metal can because I didn't know what else to make it stick. And I'm going to roll this out and then I'm going to cut it. Now, this is goofy. It did not cut. I shouldn't have did it on glass. I'll ruin my knife. I know better. I was in a hurry. I'm telling y'all. But anyway, mine ain't going to come out at the playlist like everybody else's because mine will probably be at about 6.15 or 6.30 by the time it gets done uploading. But it'll be there. So, I also have one in the 12 Days of Christmas, but it ain't very long. I apologize about all these videos, but, yo, they're fun. They're, they're, they're stressfully fun. But anyway, I'm going to go in the same, I'm going to try to keep the same seam in the back, if that makes sense. And then I'm just going to glue this up, making sure that you do not see any silver. Now I'm at the top, and I had just a little piece left so I just this stuff is easy to rip so I just measured it and ripped it okay now I did take the glue because it dries clear and I sealed my edges with that glue I just run a little bit of glue on my finger and sealed the edges now I'm going to try to get this as straight as I can I am using hot glue too because this is plastic now but I tried to get it as straight and it's flimsy so I was afraid I was going to rip it but I get this on, when I get it on, I overlap that bottom one there. And I'm gluing it to the ribbon and everything. And I'm going to put this on that way. I don't know why I'm even showing you this. Because, like, you're ever going to do this. I mean, seriously, you're never going to do this. That looks like a big old log, don't it? I could have just made a yuletide log, y'all. But I didn't. I didn't. I had to do something else that looked a little weird. But i don't know y'all have to tell me what you think about this one because it was really really crazy looking to me so now i'm just taking spackle and i'm filling in those big holes but you ain't don't, i'm not pushing real hard because it'll push that stuff out and then i'm clearing that plastic edge of that off that's the top of that spray nozzle thingy and i need that because oh sorry i had to swallow i am going to take this piece of wood and I'm going to take some felt and I'm going to glue some felt strips to the plastic top of that uh, de dehydrator can, disinfectant can. That stuff smells good, by the way. That Odaban, I don't know if y'all use it, but I, I love it. But anyway, so I'm going to pop that little wood round and I got that from... Hobby Lobby in a pack and I'm going to pop that wood round down in there and that's going to help hold that um, stuff right there too and then I'm going to trim it up a little bit. Now I'm going to seal that with Mod Podge. I don't know why I put the other glue up and just grabbed the Mod Podge. The other glue dried a whole lot better but anyway when I get that all sealed up I'm going to take this silver glitter paint i found this at dollar tree and i gave it a coat and it just sparkles just a little bit and now i have a wood round and i painted it and i it didn't even matter to paint i painted the underside and i put a piece of that over it and i had to use a piece and a half and then i put jute twine around it and then i'm going to take my tight bond quick and thick and i'm going to put it in the middle because wood adheres to wood and then I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue around the edge of this piece of wood for a permanent hold. And I'm going to center that up and put it right down on there and smush it down real good. Okay. There is the top. Don't this look like crazy? There's a candle holder. So it looked funny because there was nothing at the bottom. So I'm going to take one of these pieces of... um. This is a Christmas pick thing. It, they're in a pack at Dollar Tree. You can find them at 
Hobby Lobby too. It wasn't holding, and I needed it that big. So I put hot glue on it, and then I twisted my wires in it, and then I just smushed it all together and made it work. So I'm going to just fill it in with some more greenery, and I'm going to take these sprigs, and I'm going to cut this all apart and put little sprigs on top of this. It glues right on it. It works just perfect. So I'm going to put these all the way around here. And then when I get them around there, I'm going to take this bunch of berries I had. I picked off something, and I'm going to put berries on here all the way around this. Just wherever I think that they look good to me is going some berries. Then once I got my berries on, I added a little bit of another kind of greenery, and I didn't film it because I forgot. And now I'm adding my DIY spackle, which is just made with... um spackle and mod podge that's it just spackle and mod podge maybe a little white paint i don't remember and i'm just taking my finger and putting it on that so now the final reveal here they are you know that looks a lot better that candlestick does with that thing around the bottom i like it a little bit better it is very tall i wish i had a shorter one but you know it is what it is i made a candlestick out of a can can you believe it yeah and it's actually kind of decent now that one the little south pole sign is so cute i love it i love it it is so cute it really don't look like skis or a sled it kind of does but anyway i used all my all my challenge items and i'm pretty proud of it and i thank the lord for giving me a vision y'all tell me what you think would you recreate any of these i mean i don't know if i would ever again i mean that one is kind of cute but anyway y'all tell me what you think this challenge is always fun make sure you check out the hosts and the entire playlist in the description box and um y'all take care you guys are a blessing and i appreciate you until next time goodbye